morning everyone it's 9 a.m and i slept really well I, I probably slept for nine hours and i don't remember the last time that i slept that long usually i only need about seven seven and a half hours of sleep so i must have been pretty tired from yesterday and the sun actually makes me really tired especially since i haven't been outside as much due to coaching girls volleyball season i want to give a quick shout out to upper echelon nutrition which is my go-to supplement company and every morning i start the day off with a delicious chocolate protein shake with creatine from upper echelon and before my workouts i also use the collagen supplement to keep my tendons and ligaments strong. So if you wanna get your own upper echelon nutrition supplements, make sure you use my discount code in the description box below to get 15% off all your supplements. Today we don't start until 12 o'clock and I think we only play two matches today for the crossover. And even though we finished first in pool yesterday, and are guaranteed in the gold division bracket. We still have to play two more matches today to determine seeding for gold division playoffs. So it's still important that we play well today so we can get easier matchups for our first few rounds of playoffs tomorrow. You know what's funny? I was packing my gym bag last night and look what I found inside the side pocket. The uneaten sausage biscuit from yesterday. So my question for you guys is, should I eat it? Should I still eat it, Uno? Mm, I think Uno wants to eat it. it. Smells good, huh? pretty nice today again. It's a little bit windy, but the sun's out and it's not raining, so it's gonna be a good day. Usually, I like to eat that American fast food breakfast for my tournament days, because it's a lot of calories, it tastes good. But today, I wanted to support Chinatown in downtown Oakland. As many of you know, a lot of businesses have been struggling during the pandemic, uh, specifically the Chinatowns in Oakland. So I wanted to support some of the local businesses and get some good food at the same time. I got this hot dog cheese bun with green onion and then sasu bao, which is like a barbecue pork bun. Got the popo protecting us. One of the best feelings is walking into a gym or walking into a nine-man tournament and just hearing all the audience sounds. And I get a chance to kick the ball. Whoops. Uh -huh. Back into our campsite here. <laughs> Dude, that's a sick playground. A little pirate ship with a bunch of slides. I wish I had that when I was a kid. Hot dog bun time. It's got sweetness from the honey and the bread. And the green onion to give that little acid, the cheese, and the hot dog. Salty and savory. It's only a salt. Saving me. Couldn't wait. I had to get a milk tea. I'm also getting another Hong Kong style milk tea later, but I gotta drink this with my breakfast to get my day started. Here's our campsite. We got a smash right there. So our pool got delayed by an hour, of course. So instead of just sitting down for an hour, I'm gonna walk around and get some footage and watch some cool volleyball.
try to get it out, but now they got the second ball stuck. Met a couple fans today, actually yesterday, and then saw them again today. They're rocking some sick jerseys, and they're gonna explain the meaning behind the jerseys, which I think is really awesome. So we got Shang-Chi jerseys. When we watched the movie, it was really inspirational to see an Asian superhero. Yeah. Just sitting there in the movie theater is really cool, really dope. So we're, we were like, oh my gosh, we're cool superheroes. Or we're superheroes. So that's why we got these jerseys. Really cool concept. I totally agree. Just to see an Asian American hero on the screen again is really, is really inspirational for a lot of us. So ten rings. Ten rings, baby. That's how you get you guys' power, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It didn't work today, but <laughs> maybe add another ring on there. Yes, sir. Work tomorrow. Thank you. So I just finished talking to the New York team and. It was so nice of them. They actually gave me one of their jerseys. They gave me one of their Shang-Chi jerseys, 99. Really appreciate their kind gesture and inspiration behind the design. I told them I couldn't wear it this turning because I still got to rock my jersey because I'm still playing, but maybe after I'm done playing, I might wear it a little bit for them. So we're actually delayed by two hours now. That's what happens when you got Chinese people in charge of running things. They like to do things late. So we'll be on after that game is done and they just started. So time for me to get warmed up. All right. I know we're about to play in less than an hour, but our food got here and I want to test it. I'm not going to eat a lot. I just want to sample it. We got baked seafood with rice, also known as hoisin fan. They just started their second With cream sauce. Ooh, look at that. Like big brother, little sister. Why are you drinking? I'm almost dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still steamy. I definitely gotta save this for later. I'm not gonna jump if I eat this before. Also got a sample of the Hong Kong milk tea with condensed milk today. So delicious. Whole lot. Definitely gotta save this for later. So we're about to get warmed up and Unfortunately, the game went to three, so we gotta sit off, but got a really nice surprise. My wife, this is her friend Tanika. That's my wife, Jamie. Oakland resident. Oakland, Oakland represent. Resident, yeah. yeah, Oakland <laughs> resident. Represent, represent. This is our, our Cal State East Bay alumni group. So, so happy that she surprised me today. Elevate, here. Elevate. <laughs> and you guys know who that is. The Rise of Kai. So got a nice surprise from a lot of people. That means I gotta play extra well. That was a super fun game. You can see from the camera how big the crowd was getting. And it's funny because everyone kept yelling my name. People kept saying, elevate yourself. And now that I have fans, I have to still block it out right before I'm gonna serve. And it's really important to, to not pay attention to even the positive things that people are saying and just focus on the game and be in the moment. But I felt really good. I think I was hitting like 70% and the refing was, was pretty bad. And I felt like the other team, which is associated with the refing team was doing a little home cooking, so that pissed me off. I play better when I'm angry, so definitely put a little bit more behind each swing. So now we got to ref this game, and then we're playing right after, and I think we're done for the day. Do my reflection as I'm walking back to the car. So you saw Kai and his girlfriend Val come to watch, which was a nice surprise. And my wife came here 
with our friend Tanika, so that was really cool. Before I get into the happy stuff, gotta talk about the sad stuff. Yeah, that was frustrating. We've been playing really well so far, and you know, I'm glad we got pushed in this way, but I'm not happy how we responded because we just gave up mentally. And at the end, we started getting quiet. We stopped being aggressive. We just, you know, against a young team, we, we actually played like the young team. Young teams usually are mentally up and down. And so I was doing my best to try to get people pumped up, trying to really get people in it. We stopped cheering, you know, simple things like that. We just started getting quiet. So I'm hoping that the benefit of experiencing that early in the tournament is that now we know what it feels like and we know how to deal with it. Gotta figure out if I'm gonna, oh, I can cross the street. And I always talk about it's important for us to be pushed early in the tournament because we were pretty comfortable the whole tournament and we just didn't really adapt well at the end. So a little frustrated, but got to stay and support the team and try to continue to be a better teammate as, as best as I can. But now I'm walking back to the car because Chinatown's pretty small and I can't keep this in the restaurant. And then we get to have a nice dinner with Jamie, Val, and Kai. That's a good way to end the day. First one came out, dumplings. This is why I love her. Look at this. Look at this Cantonese technique. Oh, ho. very proud. <laughs> Thank you. No, I can't. I can only do it on the first try. See, now I'm just, now you're making me nervous. I have a white jersey, and this is what you have to do to keep it clean. My little bib. Look at the damage here. That was a very yummy dinner. It's always nice to change up some of the Chinese cuisine. Had some northern style Chinese food with the noodles and the ningo, the lamb, as always good. So another recap for the day. Uh, we didn't, I mean, we played tougher teams today. So the only tough team yesterday was LA Mad Dog. So today was a good step up in level and it's only gonna get harder tomorrow. Of course, we would have loved to finish top on our pool so we get an easier seed and guarantee that first round. Now we're gonna play an equally matched team, which is still better than getting the low seed and then having to play a really tough team, right? My body feels good. I'm only lightly sore, and that's just the beauty of taking care of your body. I've been very consistent with my weightlifting, protein intake, hydration, foam rolling, warm up, cool down, and I'm gonna take another hot bath today because that felt really good. Just to relax my body, and most importantly, trying to get you know, eight to nine hours of sleep a night. And I slept a lot last night, so it felt really good today. My throat is hurting though. I have been yelling my my brains out, especially when I'm playing. I intend to be pretty loud, so my voice is probably going to be gone tomorrow, but it's for a good reason. I'm about to take a hot bath and just chill for the rest of the night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Fortunately, it's 4 a.m., and I can't sleep.